Is now the right time to buy a new RV? The answer may surprise you. Stay tuned. This could be something that comes back to bite the RV industry. Welcome to the channel. I'm Liz. And I'm Paul. And these are exciting times to push past fear, build confidence, and live amazing. And you can definitely live amazing with an RV. Paul and I certainly are. We've been full-time RVers for three years. And today, where are we? This is the Grand Design Factory behind, over my shoulder here. This is the birthplace of RVs. Something like 80% of all RVs are built right here in Elkhart County. I'm talking not just Grand Design, but Jayco, Forest River, Heartland, you name it. They're pretty much have come from here. And we do have that burning question that we need to answer. And the only way to answer it is to really start at the beginning about whether it is or is not a good time to be buying a brand new one right now. Yeah, I mean, there are some things that you need to be aware of if you're looking at new rigs right now. It mostly revolves around product shortage, right. supply shortage. If you're thinking about ordering an RV especially, it's important to you to understand the pressure that the industry is going in. Yeah, and let's be clear about this. This is, we're in front of the Grand Design factory and we own a Grand Design but this is industry-wide. This is not just a grand design issue. If you have ordered a brand new RV, towable, fifth wheel, whatever it is, the contract you sign will have a little escape clause that basically will say the manufacturer reserves to the right without notice to substitute parts. And that's exactly what's happening industry-wide now because there is such a shortage and it's because of COVID, it's because of work stoppage, it's because of truck driver shortage, and it's also because of the huge demand that this RV industry is now experiencing. There's also a shortage of labor. Talk about the labor shortage. Yeah, pretty much everywhere we've driven, past every factory in town, there's a sign out front saying, now hiring with, you know, I've seen as high as $22 an hour. Sometimes it'll even say a sign-on bonus. Um, they are trying to get manpower into these places because they are they, they are running short on that. And they can't just stop production. It's very expensive from a business standpoint to just stop and wait for parts. You still have to pay your help. And the main thing is there's all that demand. So they can't wait, they can't afford to wait. So what's happening is substitution on the fly. You wanna talk about that? Yeah, we took a tour of the Grand Design Factory and I asked the question of about whether there are running changes going on uh, because of the supply disruption. The way I asked it is, is are you seeing running changes throughout, uh, throughout a model year? And his answer surprised me. He said, we're seeing running changes almost daily. We went through the solitude line because we have a solitude. And as we were walking by uh, these trailers, we noticed that the wheels didn't look like solitude wheels, certainly didn't look like the ones we have on our rig. And we asked about it and they said, oh yeah, those are from a mom Momentum. We ran out of solitude wheels, so we were putting Momentum wheels on. Those are the only wheels they have. Right. Maybe the, the counters that are generally, they're supposed to be, you know, this beige color. Well, they can't get beige, so maybe the counters are, are cream, you know, or whatever. We're, again, this is happening in all of the manufacturers. We're not, absolutely not picking on Grand Design. Yep but they have to keep going. So then the other thing is, is insulation. There's been a shortage of insulation. We're talking about the stuff that you'd see in the, on the shelves in, in Home Depot and Lowe's and, and Menards and you name it. Uh, but the roles of insulation, they have even resorted to sending their trucks to the retail outlets like Lowe's and like Home Depot. And Menards every morning at 7 a.m. and getting what the stores will let them have. They can't take all of it. Yep. And where, where this is coming from is the building industry shortage. You know, there's been a building boom. There's been a home renovation boom. And it, it's just affected everyone. The supply yep. chain is very disrupted. Yep, and lumber. If you've done any home repairs at all, you know the prices of lumber have skyrocketed. I just had to buy a half a sheet of plywood because of the solder install that, that we're doing. I paid $32 for a four by four piece of half inch plywood. And that used to cost how much? 15, maybe. Yeah, so it's, so it's doubled? Yeah. So, and this is why we have some concern, regardless of where you're thinking of ordering your camper, there's going to be a Luan shortage 
everywhere. Now, Luon is plywood that's one quarter inch to one eighth inch thick, and it's a smooth plywood that they use to attach the gel coat on. So this is basically the exterior walls of your camper if you have anything that's towable, pre unless it's got the corrugated metal. You know, again, we're talking Forest River Jayco, not just Grand Design. Now, there is not a comparable material to Luon. When Luon runs out, they're going to be forced to use something that's not as good. They're going to be forced to use an inferior product. And we don't even know what that is at this point. If you know what they're going to substitute for it, tell us in the comments. But right now, they, they are looking at a potential Luon shortage. This could be something that it comes back to bite the RV industry and in, you know down the line whether it's two years or four years yeah. or six years yeah delam uh, delamination is is the is the risk that they're running in the long run I mean right. it'll be fine for for months probably but eventually it might start to to separate they're going to be forced to use this because they have to keep production going and you know it from what they've said in their tests, you know, it's it's not as good as Luan. Hopefully it will be good enough. Grand Design has a three-year warranty on the outside, on the, on the body. It's the entire industry. I, we, we need to keep saying that because we don't want you to come back on the comments and say, oh yeah, Grand Design builds junk, you know, and they don't. They're all under the same pressure. What we really like about Grand Design is that they are responsive to the customers. And we have a couple examples of that in a moment. But we just want to caution you. Certainly, we don't want to stop you from RVing. Um, if you have your heart set on ordering a new one, we had camping neighbors that we told this to, and they were not swayed. They were like, well, we're still going to order. So, yeah. you know, life is short. So if yeah. you want to just go ahead and order, order. Just go in with your eyes wide open and don't expect expect your new camper to look exactly like the one in the lot. Now, if there's something that's a deal breaker, what I've heard is you can tell your dealer under no circumstances can you switch the furniture or switch this. And in that case, you may have to wait longer, but that might be the only way you can get exactly what you want. So we want to apologize for the background noise. Yeah, but they're building, they're building something right behind us here that I don't yeah. know that they're going to put up another factory or Grand Designs lot. coming out with a new product that we can't talk about, yep. but I saw a picture. It's really cool. Yeah. We are definite fans of Grand Design. We're on our second Grand Design. We think they do it right. Two of the things that we actually learned in our factory tour were that siphoning of the water tank was a problem. Oh, yeah. In the old days, um, for those of us who, who <laughs> didn't have a lot of money back in the day, we would take garden hoses and, and go take gas out of people's car. And the way you would do that is you would stick a hose in somebody's filler neck and <laughs> suck it and, and hopefully not digest a whole lot of gasoline. But once you got that, water, that fuel running through the hose, it would continue to run. So and, you've created a flow. Yeah, and same thing has happened. It was happening with the fresh water tanks on on the uh, RVs, and it's happened with ours uh, a couple of times. I try to shut it off as soon as I see even a trickle, so that it doesn't continue to happen. They've modified it, so they put in a break, so it won't happen anymore. And then the other thing that they did is because the um, what was it around the springs that were breaking the the shackles. They added a gusset between the shackles for your springs. They added a piece of angle iron between those shackles and they welded the sides of the angle iron to the to the shackles and the ends of that to the to the frame rail. So it's going to be it's going to stiffen up that that shackle tremendously. So I I suspect that that uh, that it will prevent or or certainly lessen uh, the number of shackles that are breaking off out there. Right, and the takeaway from that is that Grand Design listens to their customers and they pivot or do whatever they need to act accordingly to keep building as best product as they can. And actually, that's not a Grand Design thing. That's the, the chassis that Grand Design uses are made by Lippert, LCI. Mm -hmm. So I imagine that's an LCI thing, and I don't know if- Well, they would have heard from Grand Design. Yeah, I don't know if, what I'm saying is, I don't know if Grand Design is the only one that's using that. Let us know in the comments if you're thinking about ordering a new camper and any thoughts or concerns that you may have about that. And then I wanna ask you a question about this siphoning of gas. 
Are you saying that you actually <laughs> were stealing gas? And yes, how old yes. were you? I was 16. I, okay. you know, <laughs> I didn't, you know, didn't have a lot of money, and we'd go out and, and steal a couple of gallons of gas to, to cruise around, and yeah. <laughs> I learned something about Paul today, and so did you.